So we always encourage kids to get outdoors and be active, but one extraordinary teenager is taking that advice to a whole new level. Early show special contributor Ayla Brown is here with his story. Good morning again. Good morning, Harry. Jordan Romero is an inspiration to young people across the country. At age 13, he set some pretty high goals for himself, as you're about to see. At 29,035 feet, Mount Everest is matched by no other. One in 10 summit attempts ends in death, making it a feat few climbers can boast of. But that's exactly what 13-year-old Jordan Romero is planning to do. What do your friends think about all of this? Well, they are more psyched about me climbing Everest. You know, it's one of the few mountains, big mountains that they know about. 5,000 meters, but Ever since elementary school, Jordan has been conquering high altitudes on a regular basis. Is that right? Yeah. Before his 12th birthday, he'd climbed the tallest mountain on five of the seven continents, including Mount Denali in Alaska. Jordan's doing great. There, every step of the way with him were his father, Paul, and Paul's girlfriend, Karen. Denali was a, a, I think, kind of a turning point for us in climbing the mountains. We're almost to the fixed rope section. The strength and the fortitude and the, the, the manliness he showed on that mountain was something I'll never forget. It was when he just broke out of whatever shell he had and he became a man. Yeah! People have been saying that it's tougher than Mount Everest, but we don't know that. We'll see. Guess you'll find out. Only one way to find out. But many who have climbed up Everest to its so-called death zone question whether a 13-year-old's judgment and reflexes are developed enough to handle the challenges. But Jordan's dad disagrees. I'm no dummy. I know that a lot of people have died. The upper part of the mountain is literally a graveyard, and I have an incredibly strong young man that I would take over several of the professional athletes that I know and have worked with. What are you most afraid of? I'm m most afraid of just the, well, of course, it's dangerous up mm -hmm. on the mountain, but I'm aware of it. I don't want to ignore it, but I just want to climb my best. Daily agility and strength workouts, along with the endurance training using heavy backpacks, have helped Jordan reach the peak of his physical ability. Even his blood is being prepped for the thin air of Everest. This is pretty cool. Yeah. How, how many hours do you sleep a night in this? Maybe about six. This is a way for me to condition my blood for the altitude mm -hmm. up on Mount Everest. If Jordan can successfully make it to the summit of Mount Everest, he'll become the youngest person ever to stand at the top of the world. What's going to be the first thing you do when you come back down from Mount Everest? I have been thinking about that, but that is probably to throw the biggest party. Ever. The biggest party? Yeah. Are we invited? Everybody's invited. All right. Now, if Jordan makes it to the top of Everest, he plans to climb Mount Vincent in Antarctica later this year. And if he's successful, he'll be the youngest person ever to climb the seven summits. The biggest summits on the, on, on the seven different continents. This is crazy. 13 years old, he seems very mature. Is that the kind of read that you got? Yes. When we visited him, I was very skeptical because I thought to myself, how can a 13-year-old handle this? But mm -hmm. after meeting him, I'm very confident that he can do this. And they leave tomorrow. Yes. They leave for the summiting adventure tomorrow. Right, because it takes fall. a lot of time. You get up there, you have mm -hmm. to do, there's a lot of... It actually of... takes about six weeks to two months right. to do the whole process because they have to get their lungs accustomed to the thin air. Yeah, and what about school? School, he <laughs> you know, although he's 13, he took a, a kind of leave of absence for the semester, but sure. what's very impressive is that he's taking two months worth of homework on the trip to Everest. He loves math, he does it every day, yeah. and I'm sure he'll be doing it when he's, you know, on yeah, the summit. That's right, I would love to make the summit, Dad. I've gotta finish my trigonometry, I'm sorry here. <laughs> this is very interesting. I was skeptical too, just mm -hmm. going into the story, but seeing him, seeing the preparation involved, Still, talking to his father, this is a highly, under the best of circumstances, a highly dangerous thing. Of course. Many experts believe that a 13-year-old's mind is not mentally prepared to handle the challenges in case anything bad were to happen. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, other experts say that because he's already climbed five out of the seven summits, what's Everest? Yeah. Very interesting. Good stuff. Ayla, welcome aboard. Thank you very much. A lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.